Hello, Rasher, Chu, Tom, Putter, Do. My goal today is to dispel your boredom. For you see, a fragment of pure life preserved in the purest form of pop art that we can only know as Andy Warhol. My shoe is your shoe. That is the story today. For you see, I had just entered the courtyard of the Sager Private Art Collection, and in my absent-minded state, I had failed to bring my inhaler along with me. As I passed by this huge male fruitless mulberry tree, I was bombarded with pollen like nails shooting out of a cannon right into my chest. Yes, my chest was taking a direct hit from the pollen. In that moment, a profound epiphany struck me, more like a vision. The pollen talked to me. Seize me as I pass, if you can. Try to solve the riddle of pain that I have sent you in this moment. For you see, I have burned down every bridge I have ever crossed to be sure that only, only one door shall be open. I only entered the one open door that is awaiting me. For on this day, Allah Rusher, Chu, Tom Purdue, let the shoe kick you in the ass to live in the present moment. You, our story today, I asked myself, does life imitate art or does art imitate life? Open sesame, I say. My vision of pollen striking my lungs had reawakened my belief of a medium, a zone, if you will, outside of time. The year was 1949. Andy Warhol's art career was just getting started. And his first art commission job was assigned to him by... Tina Fredericks, an artistic director of Glamour magazine, gave Andy Warhol his first commission. He was to illustrate shoes. That's right, women's shoes. Andy was only 20 years old at the time of this commission. I tell you that this beautiful shoe that I have stumbled upon as the door opened at the Sager Estate to let me in and escape the shooting mulberry pollen that was piercing my chest, I say, open sesame in search of lost time. The story of a lost shoe could be a story of a man looking for a muse outside of the abstract notion of time that we all share, and more about the vision our memories have stored away for us. For example, one might think that the writing on this piece of artwork was handwritten by Warhol himself, but you would not be further from reality. The notion of time and space is to be bent to the extreme in the art world for Andy Warhol's mother, yes, I say Andy Warhol's mother, Julia Warhol, was to write the lettering and the sayings on this shoe which says, my shoe is your shoe. So open sesame to the moment we've been waiting for, the mystery, for throughout this story, the experience that Andy would have with his mother, never, never again would such moments be possible for Andy. Mama, the most powerful memory of the young Warhol's life, the crucial event, the agonizing need to possess exclusively in which Warhol would act upon his superstar models. From that time forward, my shoe is your shoe. You see, if time was in true reality here, this would be a print 
It would be a print that was part of a 1955 portfolio of 18 prints that sold at not only Christie's and Sotheby's for a half a million dollars. These pieces of artwork, all 18 prints combined, are a piece of masterpiece. A piece of artwork that could be lost to time. If I was not here to tell you that in reality, this piece is not from the 1955 portfolio. You see, because the original 1955 portfolio of 18 prints, they were prints that Andy did on waterproof paper, which he then transferred to each print. There was 100 each print. There was only 100 done. The colors were transferred to the print by a waterproof paper that had coloring on it. And then the hand coloring, then there was hand coloring that was done not only by Warhol, but by Warhol and his assistants in coloring parties. And they, the whole team was there. And after the print was transferred from the original drawing that was on waterproof paper, and then they went and had the hand-colored parties led by Warhol himself. Then his mother would come in and write the lettering and the words to the saying. But what is the mystery of it all? What about this piece here? I tell you, it is a Proustian moment where the shoe kicks you in the ass to move in the present. You see, art is the peak of life. Art is alive. Life is alive. And the opposite of that would be habit. You see, habit, which is dull. Habit, which is dull. Life. To appreciate the moment. Habits be gone and dance in the rain. For you see, in fact, this piece of artwork here is not part of the 1955 portfolio. It looks like it, but it's not. The story of the lost shoe. This could be a story of lost love. But it is. This is a mixed media hand-painted masterpiece that was done by Andy Warhol himself. Right around the late 60s, the early 70s, the artist is trying to recapture a lost time, to rekindle a muse long gone. An artist who agonized in vain after losing his favorite superstar model, Edie Segwick. Yes, I'm telling you, the artist tried to recapture the lost time. His affliction, his affliction was people, love, pain, and the illusion of time were heavy monkeys clinging to Warhol's back, occasionally slapping, up, slapping him upside the head to say, hey! Hey, this is real. I'm a real monkey clinging on here. And they'd slap him in the head. This is real. This is real to live in the moment. And now you know what the artist Andy Warhol was thinking when way back in the early 1950s, he named this portfolio of art prints. A la research, true Tom Perdue. Yes, in search of lost times.